All right, let's play some stock up, stock down. <laughs> All right, welcome back to the One Bar and Lepagus Show. I'm Lepagus here with One Bar. Uh, Vikings' first preseason game is in the books. Uh, first preseason game of the 2023 season. The Vikings dropped that game 24 to 13 to the Seahawks, dropping Kevin O'Connell's record 0 and 4 in the preseason. This time, yeah, but that regular season record is so beautiful. Who gives a shit? Let's go. Yep. So we're gonna play a little stock up, stock down. Uh, just I mean, we're we'll start with the offense, go through some guys, and we're gonna quickly say stock up, stock down based on their performances last night. Before we do, be sure to subscribe to the channel, become a YouTube member as well, and don't forget to comment and like. All right, you ready, one bar? Let's go, let's go, baby. All right, let's start. Quarterback Jaron Hall, stock up, stock down. It's a tough one. I mean, after that, he had some very good early practices. We got very excited, but then he came back to life. Uh, in practice, so his stock really wasn't that high. Uh, I would guess I would say stock down, but I will say this. He looked like a seasoned vet back there. He does not seem like a guy that's going to get rat rattled. He didn't play very good, but he was commanding the, the huddle. He wasn't getting rattled. He was rolling always, getting rid of the ball, so I uh, give him some props for that. Well, and his old line from him was horseshit. Um, he had no time, but he did wisely throw the ball out of bounds. He, he would uh, scramble right, scramble left, get that thing out of bounds. Uh, but, but stock down, stock down for Jaron Hall. Uh, not really his fault either, but he got to. All right, let's go to Ty Chandler, running back. Ty Chandler. Easy stock up. Uh, he just solidified what he did last preseason, even looked better. Again, the offensive line was not fantastic, but uh, he's the number two for sure. It's easy. Shut yeah, that you, guy down for the rest of the preseason. You said it. He looked amazing last night. Vision, uh, power, everything. Receiving, blocking, it was all there. Ty Chandler, stud. Uh, Dwayne McBride, stock up, stock down, our seventh round running back. I'll let you go first. Uh, it's stock down, way down for me. This was the most disappointing performance of the night. He ran scared. There was times where he actually turned his body when contact was coming at him. I was 100% completely wrong on this guy. He looked nothing like the back that we saw at UAB. Uh, decisive, powerful, hitting the holes. He looked scared last night, and it showed. Yeah, I can't say stock down. His stock was always down for me, so uh, just solidified it, I guess. Yeah, I don't. I don't. I'm not think giving he... up on him. I'm not. Give... But you're seeing, we we're seeing comments from some of the writers saying practice squad over the last couple, and he's probably going to be a practice squatter. The, well, the dream uh, of him being a thousand yard rusher is as a rookie is over. Abram Smith, we signed last week. It looked like he had a more prominent role and looked more ready than Dwayne McBride, who's been there since day one. So very disappointing. I was very disappointed in Dwayne McBride. But who I was not disappointed in, spoiler alert, wide receiver Jaden Jordan Addison, stock up or stock down? Just I mean, his stock was up. So he, he had a good he had a good game. That catch was fantastic. They didn't even want to bother to challenge it, but he, he looked really, really, really good. He did. He looked great. I'm so excited to see him moving forward. Uh, we got something special there with Jordan Addison. That's for damn sure. Mm. KLC, throw the flag on that thing. Challenge it. What, what are you doing here? What are you doing? I'm glad he didn't. It's preseason. Move that game along. All right. Another wide receiver, Jalen Rager. Stock way up. Way, 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 way up. Not only because his stats and he had some good plays, he was telling people where to go out there. I mean, his big thing last year was he didn't know what to do, and his, his route running sucked ass. He was helping some of those younger guys. Stock way up yeah we've been rude to Jalen Rager but he had a good uh, preseason game he's got to string more of these together to make this roster but that was a great first step for him Jalen Rager uh looking like the seasoned vet out there that he should be at this point in his career uh one more wide receiver uh our boy Thayer Thomas man you gotta you gotta get out of the way of that punt man he, he, he looked fine on offense had some catches but that was that was pretty that was, for a guy that that's his role that's his that's his money maker to make the team ouch sucked yeah, it's, it's stock down, but a lot of not a lot of time to get that stock back up. So there, Thomas, that was a bad decision on your part. Stock down. Uh, let's go. Our, uh, our starting right guard, Ed Ingram, had the first two series out there. Stock up, stock down. Go ahead. Stock down. I thought Ed Ingram struggled. Uh, there was one point he was just standing there looking in the backfield as uh, I think it was Nick Mullins at that point was getting pressured. Uh, not a great showing for Ed Ingram. Uh, so, yeah, stock down. The fact that they even played him is stock down. He was the only starting offensive lineman that played. Uh, that says a ton right there, and he didn't play well. Dalton Reisner, have your phone on. I hope it's you're getting some 612 area code phone calls right now. Yeah, he's getting some two and eights from me. Uh, all right, we got one more offensive tackle, Vidarian Lowe. Vidarian Lowe. 
stock down. Uh, he was the guy I talked in the pregame that I really wanted to just come out and just look good. He looked horrible. He played a ton of snaps, too, but looked very, very bad. We, Our offensive line, uh, that was brutal for, from top to bottom. Yeah, it was a horrible offensive line performance. If you're on the O-line, your stock is down. Let's move over to the defensive side of the football. Let's start with the uh, the linebacker. The man in the middle played a lot last night. Linebacker Ivan Pace Jr. Go ahead. Well, I'm the fact he, I mean, I know Pete Bursich kept bringing this up, but he had the green dot on his helmet. Basically unheard of for an undrafted free agent to have that, being the guy, getting the plays in, calling the plays, and being an undrafted rookie. That's crazy. Uh, were, there, were there splashy plays? Not a ton of them, but his run defense was great. Yeah, he had the one little pass uh, miss, mishap on the pass coverage there. It led up to a big uh, Seattle Seahawks game late in the game. But overall, I thought he played well, so stock up for me. Yeah, I mean, his stock was about as high as it could get. So, he, just again, he, it's a great game. The best part about it was, I don't remember who tweeted it out, was his big thing in college was he was always around the ball. And that's what he, he again, he was always around the ball. He was hitting hard, uh, looked fantastic. Yeah, and I thought he just played with the confidence. I mean, he looked calm and, and collected. He's got big balls, and like, man. What was that? He's got big balls. He does. He does. Uh, all right. I'm not so sure about the size of the balls in this one. Lewis Cien, our safety. Stock, stock up or stock down. Stock down. <laughs> down, 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 down. Dude, what is with his tackling? He's trying to, he's not a, he's not like Joey Brown or out there that can lay the wood, but he sure was trying to. And uh, he started off with that good play. And uh, it went down very, very quickly. I'm giving Lewis seen some grace. We all want to yeah. see him just do fantastic right out of the gates. But he's got a ways to go. Uh, and it was not fantastic. He played a ton. Yeah, and you looked at it, you know his expression on his face on the bench. It showed him there toward the end of the game. He looked uh, defeated. He looked upset with himself. Uh, so, yeah, stock down for Lewis seen a guy we both wanted to have a big game yesterday. It did not happen against twos, yeah. threes, and even fours. Well, let's uh -huh. just remember, this is the first game since a pretty horrific injury. He might be a little little timid out there. Oh, yep, absolutely. Let's go uh, cornerback. Andrew Booth Jr., stock up, stock down. Uh, stock down, about as down as my grandpa's balls used to hang. This is about as low as you can get. You get beat by Bobo, an undrafted wide receiver, and beat badly. Uh, Andrew Booth, ah, he's not very good. <laughs> Yeah, and now it's not a point where you're not worried about him being healthy. It's just a point where you're about him being any good at all. Uh, that was bad. <sighs> bad performance for Andrew Booth Jr. Uh, let's go another cornerback, Makai Blackman, our third rounder. Ah, you go first. Yeah, you know, I'm going to say stock up. I mean, he had a good game. He had a, that one play where they got the touch on him. He actually got flagged for it. The coverage was sticky. It was probably too sticky, but that is his M.O. Ooh. But uh, overall, I thought he had a pretty solid game. His coverage was good. I think he was in on some tackles, too. So I was pretty happy with Makai Blackman's performance. Yeah, first first time out there. Um I, I think he definitely still has a shot to be a starting corner week one. So it was uh, it was good. Stock up. Stock up. Let's stick with one more corner. Jalen Williams, the undrafted free agent. Fuck, you got a pick, man. He looked good. He looked good. Stock up. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Those uh, bottom feeding corners, he's definitely uh, one of my favorites. Let's go to one more defensive player. Outside linebacker, Luigi Villain. This one should be easy. Stock up uh, for me. No doubt. Wait. Way up, easy. If you're watching the game, this is an easy one. One another guy I want to throw out there is Juwan Williams. I thought played yeah, uh, very, very did. good. Stock, stock up for me on that. Yeah, definitely. Uh, that beautiful play he made when he dove and, and knocked away with his hand. Juwan Williams. He was kind of all over the place. He played a lot last night too, uh, which is good for him. Let's go to special teams. Kicker Greg Joseph. Stock up, stock down. Did perfect. Stock up. Uh, he did exactly what he needed to do. He cannot miss any field goals, and um, you know it's it's his job to lose. Stock up. And we got one more final final. The gunner, the cornerback, Najee Thompson. This dude, I mean, this, this dude could legit make the team. I mean, did you? This is the shit that we wanted to see from Dan Chasina. He was in the right spot at the exact right time. He was making the plays. Najee Thompson is my favorite Viking right now. It was beautiful. <laughs> Stock up, way up. Yeah, he was. Uh, he was getting a lot of love in the live last night as well. I don't know if he ever got any stud of the games, but he was right in the in the uh, mix. Should have been. But, I, what I wrote to you earlier today, that was some of the best uh, gunner work I've seen. I mean, it was perfect. The timing was perfect, not just on the hit he had, but also when he downed the punt. I mean, the dude gets it. That is his thing. And Najee Thompson, I I know it's one game, but I really think he's going to make this team too. Well, that's exactly why they brought him here, just for his special teams. And what does he do right off the bat? Just confirms that he is a fantastic special. He was one of the best special teamers in college football. It's translating over to the NFL. Boom, stock way up. Yeah, it is. Way. All day. 
Yeah, it is way up. Najee looked great. So that is it. That is stock up, stock down after the Vikings' first preseason game. Again, a loss to the Seattle Seahawks. But who gives a shit? Uh, plenty of talkers come to this game. And I'm excited for the next one. Cannot wait. Cannot <laughs> wait. One bar, you travel safe. Hope you get where you're going with uh, minimal, minimal delays. Uh, yeah, I'm already here, and I'm driving through Superior this morning. There's nothing better at 7.15 in the morning to see Superior Schultz's bar packed. packed. <laughs> Just packed. And I want you to know before we end this video, your lisp is back and in full effect, and I love it. And also, guys, remember this. A bit of toothpaste can successfully fix a scratched cell phone screen.